no secret that Joshua did not want this fight. And he didn't want it for a reason, because Deontay Wilder is the most fiercest puncher in, in boxing history, in heavyweight division history. And I saw that tonight and I felt it. No wonder AJ didn't want no part of that right hand. <laughs> he can't move like me, he'd have been nailed. But um, listen, I stood up for my country, I stood up for my people, my pride, my family name, and I represented the United Kingdom and Ireland tonight. And I've done it well, I'm proud, and I just want to say that I am a true bread fighting man. And Wilder came over to the UK and showed it up. He called out Joshua. He got offered a lot of money, a lot of money. Money that could change countries, probably make broke countries rich. He turned it down. And I come in here, I said to Deontay, I said, I'm sorry for what's happened here. Deontay's got the text, I'm sure he'll tell you the same. I said, I'm sorry what's happened here, I said. But you offered me the fight, I said. I will not turn it down, I promise you. I said, I am the fighting man and I'll step up and represent my country. And tonight I did that. And um, I just want to say that it was a great opportunity. Deontay Wilde's a good man, good fighting man. And I respect him, you saw that after the bell. The build-up was the build-up. We had a great build-up. I don't remember a better build-up than that for any fight. Two heavyweights were both. I had a great dance partner. And I just want to say, John Tay Wilder, he can definitely fight. He's definitely a showman. He definitely can uh, talk. Question, you think AJ gives up on their no way. No way. He can't move. So he would never have got out of the way of Wilder. Wilder's got lightning fists and he's dynamite in his hands. Uh, great fighter. I respect him a lot. Frank. Quick question for you and Tyson. Frank, number one, what are the parameters of the rematch clause now that we have a draw and Tyson, is it clear you want the rematch next? Uh, well, at the end of the day, that's going to be down to Tyson. But from my perspective, I'd love the rematch. Um, I'd like to see it in the UK. Fill a football stadium up with fill up Wembley, Arsenal, any of those big stadiums. Can we not have a holiday? Old Trafford. Place? Come on, Frank. No, we talk, we talk about when we... But you know it's going to... You know we're going to... Go, we go to the Arsenal, you know it's going to be better treated there. So that's what we're going to do. No, we want the fight. Listen, we want, do we want the fight? You know, it would have been a great, whatever the result Frank, was. The mic, Frank. Sorry, whatever. Mic. The mic, the mic. Sorry. The mic. Whatever the result, whatever the result was, I thought Tyson won it and I thought he won it well. Whatever the result of the fight was, it's an, it was a fight that you want to see, see again. Irrespective of if you get a draw or whoever won the fight, it's one of those fights that you want to see it again. And we want to do it again, but we want it in the UK. That's where it should be, the next one. He came here. He's travelled to Germany, to the other guy's backyard in Klitschko. He's come here. Now, he, let, let's let him have some home turf, because home turf, he'd have won that fight. Tyson, is there any other fight that you want besides Deontay Wilder again next, immediate future? You know what, like I said... I'm just going to enjoy this moment because the last big fight I had, I didn't enjoy the moment. I was um, depressed right away afterwards, but now I'm feeling fine and I'm just going to enjoy the moment. It was a good fight. I put in hard work in the training camp. I'm going to go home, enjoy my family. I've got to give Davison here some time off. I've had him away from his family and girlfriend for like 14 months. Solid. He deserves a break. Don't you all, Davison? Oh, I need it bad. Get up there, my boy! <laughs> Listen, I just want to say as well, big shout out to old Baldhead at the back there. And glasses shout out to old Baldhead at the back there. And glasses on. Get up there, old Baldy. <laughs> big shout out to Ludi Bella. Um, great guy. Thank you for the uh, respect all the way through training camps. And um, good man, I like you. You're a good fella. Tyson, right here, straight, straight in front of you. Right here. I got you. All right. I heard what you're saying about you feel like, you know, you got up and did it for everybody that, uh, that has been in your position, been down. But even though you got the draw and you still have the title, do you, do you feel like a winner, even though it's a draw on the record? 100%. There's no losers here tonight. Look, regard when I was speaking about this fight in the build-up, I said regardless of who wins or loses, the decision of that fight, the real winners tonight were the fans. Me and Deontay had a lot to lose. 10 years each as a professional. We both turned pro in 2008. We both had 10 years unbeaten as professionals. We both had zeros to lose. We both had pride and respect and everything, belts, everything. But it was what it was. The, the fans were the winners tonight, the real winners. But no one lost the zeros. I felt like I should have won the fight, but I ain't going to complain. I'm not going to call Deontay Wilder. I'm not going to run him down. He's a great fighting man. I respect him. And I God bless him as well. And one other thing, Tyson. What does it say... 
about you as uh, your, your fighting spirit, your will, that he had knocked out everybody he ever faced. Yeah. Stavern in the rematch, but not you. No, listen, I said in, in the build-up to this fight, he's, he, he, John Tay Wilder, make no mistake, is probably the biggest puncher in heavyweight history. I don't know anybody who knocked out 39 or 40 opponents, then rematched the one he went the distance with and knocked him out. He's a fearsome puncher for sure, very much so. But I've got a fighting spirit, a fighting heart, and, you know, God is with me. So if God is with you, who can be against you? Tyson, over here. Russell!